Hi everybody, my name is Sarah Ellis and I'm a teacher at Heron Northside at the Early Childhood Classroom. I wanted to share today a book, uh, not only for my students, but for everybody that is wanting to watch the video. So hopefully you enjoy. This is Llama Llama, Mess, Mess, Mess. Llama Llama in his room. Cars and trucks go honk and zoom, racing under sheets and chairs. Mama Llama calls upstairs. Time to pick up all your toys. Why is Mama making noise? Mama says it's cleaning day. Llama only wants to play. Mama says to make the bed. Llama Llama shakes his head. We all have a job to do, even little llamas too. What if Mama never cleaned? Imagine that, what would that mean? If Mama didn't dust or mop, she tossed the rags and off she'd hop. She'd take the clothes all clean to wear and throw them up into the air. No la doing laundry anymore. Just drop the towels up on the floor. She'd pull the sheets right off the beds See if you guys can see that. And wear the blankets on her head. She'd leave the pots and pans and plates and dance around on roller skates. Then zoom into the living room to make a fort with mops and brooms. She'd have herself some crunchy snacks and throw the bags behind her back. Oh, that mama llama. That's not okay. Crumbs and clothes and peanut shells. What's this thing? What's that smell? Messy counters, dirty drawers. Messy counters, dirty drawers. Oh no, what do they need to do? You got it, they need to clean. Where is mama? Where's the floor? Everything is in disarray. Llama has no place to play. How is Llama feeling? Probably sad. Cutter, chaos, and distress. No more Llama. Mess, mess, mess. Grown up Llama, clean. That's true. But little llama ones can pick up too. Llama llama nods his head. Maybe we should clean instead. Llama llama picks up blocks, puts them all into his box. That is a very good llama picking up the toys. Books go back up on the shelf. 
Llama puts them there himself. Are there things beneath the bed? Check and see. Lift up the spread. What things are underneath your bed? We may need to check that out. Look what Llama Llama gets. Each thing has its special spot. Putting it in the basket. Llama pulls out the sheets up tight. Mama tucks the quilt just right. Lots of space to play with Mama. They're on the floor here doing a puzzle. And look, there's a nice clean couch for sitting with three pillows. One, two, three. Guess who is proud of Llama Llama? His mama. Boys and girls, when we clean up our mess, our parents and our teachers are so proud of us. And also, Whenever we clean up our mess, it will make you feel a lot better. And you should try and help your family at home so they can show you how to clean up and put your blocks away, your stuffed animals away. And that way, you know when it's time and mama says, clean up, you know how to do it. So I want to share with you a song that we do in our classroom when it's time to clean up. We set our timer and for a few minutes right before it's time to clean up. And that lets the kids know that, oh, it's time to stop playing and clean our toys up. So this song goes, ready? Clean up, clean up. Everybody everywhere, clean up, clean up, everybody do your share. Clean up, clean up, everybody everywhere, clean up, clean up, everybody do your share. Maybe parents try that at home, see if that helps your family, and let me know. Bye.